So now let's go back to our animation right now. And what I want to do now is just to kind of get more into get more into how I would use After Effects um, in more of a graphic design capacity. Again, I'm not an expert, but this is just what I found works really well. So what we're gonna do now uh, for me, I'm just gonna go all the way back. I'm going. I don't really love all that distortion. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, just use a few rows uh, that I made, and then I'll just start from there. Um, now, um, I would just want to play around a little bit more in After Effects to really start utilizing a little bit of the VR capacity uh, that's within the program. Um, it's not too complicated, and I'll just guide you through it. So uh, I'm just going to go back to everything and just make sure I have one row. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Window, and I'm going to go to VR Comp Editor down here. I'll click on that. And then I'm just going to click on Add 2D Edit as a 2D composition. Uh, from here, uh, it'll ask me what composition I want to use. So I don't want to use row. Uh, I want to use the my full composition that I see right here, which as we see is After Effects VR graphic design demo, which is our original one. So uh, just use your main composition. Don't use any of the pre-comps. And then after you select that one, you can click Add 2D Edit. So this right here is just for viewing purposes, so you don't have to uh, adjust it at all. This is just what we'll see on screen like we did on uh, YouTube right here. All right, so we'll hit um, add 2D edit, and then that should work. All right, so now you see that we have a little row, and if we want to move around in this one, all you have to do is click on this little orbit icon up in the toolbar, and then just click and drag inside, and you can see that you can kind of move around, and you can kind of see it just wraps around in the circle just like that, if you can kind of make it out. It all looks pretty much the same, uh, just like that, and then you can see that it also plays, so that's quite interesting. All right. Um, but you'll see that it actually opened up these two panels right uh, down here in your timeline. Uh, I actually don't ever use this VR2 output, uh, so I'm just going to move it to the side. And I'm just going to use our original composition and everything we add onto this one. So if we add um, just this eye, for instance, right here, and then I'm just, oh, uh, and then right here. Uh, and then I can just move it right here. Then if I click on my VR edit, you can see that it pops down right here. So that's really nice. So this one instantly um, live updates as soon as you put anything into your main composition, uh, which is really nice. So you can do a lot of testing. So I'd really like to see this view side by side with my actual composition so I can kind of see everything that's happening simultaneously as I update it. Like, so if I move around, uh, say this eye, for instance, and move to the left, I would like to be able to see how it would be affected on here immediately, side by side. So you can kind of see there it was moved uh, just weirdly in that way. And then I'm just going to go reset the view. So I'm just going to go back into my um, uh, my 3D view right there. And I'm just going to make sure that uh, with the 3D view selected, and then I'm just going to click on this view uh, and make sure that it's blue. And then I'm just going to go into view, and then I'm going to click new viewer. And then that just makes a new screen right there while with the 3D views um, selected. Uh, and if I want to change my original view, I'll just click back on my old one right there. And then I'll just make sure that one's the after, uh, clicked onto the after graphic design edit right there. And then this way, if I adjust this, so I'll just move this to the center again and I move it down, uh, then you can kind of see how everything starts uh, uh, live updating uh, just as soon as I put it in. So that's really nice. All right, so now let's play around with it a little bit. Um, so right now, if you can see that if I have, if I click on this one and highlight this one blue, then I can just orbit around and play around with it. Yeah, so I'm going to do the same thing as I did before. I'm just going to copy uh, this row right here. I'm just going to move it up. So if I move this up a little bit like this, just like that, uh, and then I scroll up here, you can kind of start seeing it's starting to slightly stretch, which is okay. But if I make another one, uh, what I can do is I'm going to move these ones both down a little bit, just like that. And then I'm just going to actually take this down to 50 again. Uh, and then I just reset my view, just like that. And then I can, um, you can see that there's not too much distortion right here. 
And then um, I'm going to make another row, and then you'll see that this distortion starts to get pretty wild when we get up close. So now I'm just going to take uh, select this view, and I'm just going to um, go up right there. And then you can kind of see that it's uh, starting to really stretch just a little bit on there. Uh, and then if I bring this up even more, you'll see that it even stretch even more. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring this down again uh, just to match it up. And then I'm just going to actually squish it down. Uh, so that it doesn't tr uh, it doesn't it doesn't get distorted as much. So you can see that's quite tall. So the easy way to go do that is just uh, select that row that you're on. Uh, let's go back to this frame. And I'll just select the top one. So just the top one. Go down right here, and we're gonna click down to transform, and we're going to adjust the scale. So um, we don't want them to be linked. So we will click off that chain, and then we just want to adjust the. Uh, verti uh, the vertical, and then you just want to squish it down until it looks kind of good like that. And then I'm just going to move that back up, just like that. And it's just um, we're just going to eyeball it, <laughs> pun intended, just like that. And then uh, what we can do too, and if we like that, I think that looks pretty good. Uh, I'm actually just going to copy it, uh, this row, and I'm just going to paste it, and I'm just going to move it down. Uh, that way the bottom and the top are uh, symmetrical. So now if I go into this one and then kind of ro scroll around uh, just like that, you can kind of see that it's uh, not as um, uh, distorted, which is kind of nice. And then we have these little um, uh, circles at the bottom, uh, which I'm going to use to fit an eye, uh, this animation right here. So, uh, so let's just do just that. And so now I am just going to take this eye right here and you're just going to move it to the top. And then you're going to see some pretty uh, funky things happen. So you can see here, it's, uh, it seems like the eye has just turned into uh, a sort of uh, just all converging into the center. So that's not what we want at all. Uh, so you can kind of see how it just kind of moves up. As it moves up, it starts to get more and more deformed into the center, just like that. And that's not what we want. I, I want to be able to see the whole uh, eye as if it's looking down on us. Um, but before I do that, I'm actually just going to delete this one and I'm just going to uh, reinterpret this one to be uh, 10 seconds long. So again, interpret, main, and then I'm just going to loop it 10 times, just like that, and then hit OK. And then I'm just going to put that down at the top, and then you can see that just takes up the whole timeline now. So that's really nice. Do, 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 just like that. Um, yeah, so let's just move this up here, and then you can just kind of see how it goes a little bit. Uh, nutty, just like that. Um, so what can we do uh, to make it not distorted? Uh, Adobe After Effects has a pretty good effects right here. So if you actually just go into the effects panel, so uh, window effects if you don't see that, uh, but should be there, you just hit VR right in there. And there's one called VR Converter. And what this does, it just takes, uh, generally takes smaller objects and pretty much removes the distortion uh, from the sort of your main composition uh, in your VR window. So we're just going to take the VR converter and we're just going to drag it right. You can drag it on top here or you can drag it on the layer, uh, whichever one is fine. And then you can see right there that it stretches this one out, but suddenly this one is totally uh, non-distorted. So uh, that's a really good way if you if, it, uh, if you want to take a smaller element, it works best for small elements, and then uh, make sure that they're not distorted in your VR view. Uh, and with this one, I just want it really in the center, right here. Um, I guess it doesn't really matter. I just want it to actually just be right there at the top. Uh, and then you can just like nudge it up and down to just make it sure it's centered. And I'm just gonna fit this to my window, get a closer look. And then you just kind of want the this anchor right here to just be uh, right in the middle, and that should align it perfectly. And then if you want to, we can just uh, copy this one again, and then we'll just move it down to the bottom. So just like that. And then you can kind of see how it distorts. Uh, you can actually kind of see how it kind of fits, it sort of expands into a sphere, just like that. Uh, so we'll zoom in again, and then we'll just place it is at the bottom of our screen, just like that. So now if we go in here and then we sort of uh, look around, you'll see that it is uh, well-placed. And these are at the top. So what I can do is I'll just move them beneath everything and then we won't have that covered up. So that looks really great. Just like that. And then we'll just fit it here. 
And then, yeah, you can see our final composition looks a little bit like this. And then now we can click into this view and just orbit around. And just like that. And then you see we have a really kind of interesting looking composition. So uh, as it scrubs forward, the eyes start opening just like that. And just like that. And then it just repeats just like that. All right. So I'm just going to leave it where the eyes are open so I can just kind of tell. And I'm just going to add some text in here so you have a good idea of uh, how we can place text and all that into uh, After Effects as well. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do, uh, put in some text. Uh, just click on my text icon right up here. And then I'm just going to make it in red, um, you know, just for it to pop. And then I'll just put it right in the center right here. And then um, I'm just going to type in you are, you are being watched as it's all about surveillance. So it just seems like the appropriate thing to write. And then uh, we'll go back in here and I'm just going to reset the view uh, for my master camera right there. So then you can kind of see here that with this one, and I'm going to align this to the center of the page as well. Uh, and then I'll zoom out. So you can kind of see how it takes up that uh, frame. And then if you go in here, and you orbit around, you can see how it wraps around, um, you can see how it wraps around sort of the wall of the of the composition. It's just like that. So if I don't really want it to be wrapped and I just want it to look like it's being straight on, then what I can do is I can, okay, I'll make two of this. I'll just make one that's smaller. So I'll just uh, reduce the size of this one just by pulling in the top right corner because my anchor is right in there. So I'm just going to put one right here. Uh, we're going to move them together again. And then I'm going to just copy this one and paste it. And I'm just going to move it across. So right here. So then we have, uh, you can see that we have two. You are being watched. So it'll be like one from front and then one in the back, just like that. So you can see how this is being wrapped around sort of the sphere. Uh, but yeah, I wanted to make it look like it's going in a straight line without any distortion. So I'll have to add a VR converter onto uh, one of my types right here. So I'm just going to go back here, and then I'm just going to take VR converter, and I'll just add it to one of my texts right here. So now you can see that it just looks like now it's being straight. So this one looks like it's straight across, versus if I go to uh, my other one right there, you can see how it's being wrapped around uh, the wall of the uh, the wall of the, um, the sphere. Yeah. So now, if I just uh, hit play right here, you can kind of see how it kind of works together, just like that. I'm not gonna hit play just because it takes a little bit of time for it to load. So I'll just scrub forward uh, so you can get a little bit of an idea, just like that. And then, yeah, I'll just. Uh, Take it down again, just like that. Yeah, so here's being just uh, looks like it's wrapped around the wall, and here it's like straight on. So that's really nice. All right, so that's pretty much how you can use uh, After Effects in sort of a, in a sort of graphic design capacity. But of course, you know, you want to save it. So now what we want to do is just the same thing as before. We'll just export it to Media Encoder. We'll just save it as a VR video. So uh, just make sure. Uh, you can just click on your preset. It can be anything, really. Um, I think I always just use the default and then just go into video and scroll down and just make sure that video VR is clicked and then you'll be all right. And then you just hit OK. And then afterwards, you highlight it and then hit Save and then highlight it and just hit Play. And then after this is done encoding, then you can upload it to YouTube and then you'll have yourself a VR video. It might take a second or so for it to process, but after you wait like maybe five, 10 minutes, you'll have something just like this. So again, you hit play and then you can easily go around there and then uh, view it in VR. So definitely try this out. Uh, hopefully you'll find it helpful. And if you have a chance and you find a Google Cardboard viewer, uh, you can watch it on your phone and you can have stereoscopic viewing, which is really nice. So try that out and I hope you found this helpful. Thanks for watching. Um, any comments and anything below, uh, let me know. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Thanks. Bye.